was goo y'all welcome back to the lab with another quest build we are back in the builder cooking up a nice complimentary piece to any squad wanted to cook something that could space the floor make some nice plays shoot the pill but be an absolute monstrosity on the defensive end I wanted to really make this a defensive minded juggernaut that can focus on that side of the floor but just be a nice complimentary piece offensively so you don't need the ball in your hands to be effective on this build this would be great playing solo dolo playing with some randos at the wreck or bringing this out to the city and just cooking up some bacon on the skillet this thing right here has shades of james posey trenton hassel and rashard lewis this is the six foot ten three and d wing I've seen some other variations of this build at 6.7, 6.8, even 6.9, but the 6.10 version at the small forward spot can guard 1 through 5. Like I said, and I keep emphasizing, be a great complementary piece on both ends of the floor. This can be a defensive juggernaut that can anchor a squad and guard the opponent's best players. And being 6'10", you're going to be menacing and intimidating right when you step in front of your opponent. So let's jump right in. You're going to make this at small forward to get that wing name, obviously. We're going to make this at 6 foot 10, 236 pounds with a 7'7 wingspan. And you know we're going body shape build because we want to look menacing on the wood. Shout out Chainer, no wadge. All right, follow along to a T to get this name. It is quite specific, yet there are some different variations you can cook up and throw some attributes in different areas. Again, it's your build, do whatever you want, but this blueprint is going to end up with the 3 and D wing name at 610 and then tinker at your own discretion in your builder. But we are going to make our close shot to a 76. We're going to get our driving layup to a 75. We're going to get our driving dunk to a 79. Badge Thresh is at a 76, but we want that Silver Limitless takeoff. Then we're going to get that Standing Dunk to an 80 to get those big man contact dunks. That's going to give us 17 finishing badges. We are punting post control on this build. You're going to be more of a cone, more of a spot up shooter, space the floor. No post control needed to ISO on the wing or on the block. But you are going to be girthy, so if you do get a peanut on you, don't worry. You know, go to work down there on the block if you want to eat some snacks. But shooting wise, we are going to get our mid range to a 73. Feel free to invest more in shooting if you want this to be a little bit more of a sharp. But we're going to get our three ball to an 81. That's going to be a badge thresh. And an 81 three ball is going to be plenty to knock down shots on the perimeter. Again, you can raise the midi up to like a 78, 79 if you want to to get some more badges. But we're also going to get our free throw to a 75. So we're not a liability when we do get fouled. We're going to go to the free throw line and knock down free throws at the end of the game. And so 18 shooting badges, that's going to give us that gold catch and shoot on tier 3. That's going to be cruise. But then playmaking, this build's very well rounded. We're going to get that pass actually to a 79. You can go higher. Some of the other badge threshes, I believe, are 82 and 85. So you can make this more of a playmaking 3 and D wing. If you do go... 86 pass actually you can turn this into a two-way diming three-point shooter also extremely hot might make another rendition with this blueprint with that name in another video but feel free to tinker don't go over an 85 if you want that 3 and D wing name but we are going to get our ball handle to a 79 as well and then our speed with ball to a 67 that's going to give us 18 playmaking badges again we're going to be able to get that gold tier 3 badge that post playmaker but realistically this build is just going to be well-rounded and be able to make some plays. But you definitely can throw more on pass actually to get two more badges with this name. But defensively, my goodness, this thing is an absolute stud muffin. We're going to get our interior defense to a 90. We're going to max out our perimeter D and steelies to an 80 and 82. That is very crucial to get this 3 and D wing name. But we're going to get our block to a 78. We're going to get our defense rebound to a 95. That's going to give us that gold rebound chaser. Then our offense rebound to an 89. That's going to give us 30 defensive badges. This thing, like I said, can basically guard one through five. Really great interior defense, rebounding, and perimeter defense is going to be a menace. See some Sean Marion defensively in this build. Definitely going to be in the shades of on this tree. 
and 30 defensive badges is going to be absolutely ridiculous. You can definitely take off some offensive rebound um, and throw it, like I said, at that playmaking pass accuracy category, maybe some more mid-range to ink out a couple more shooting or playmaking badges, but this is going to be a defensive-minded 3 and D wing, and you want all the badges you can have because you're trying to lock up your opponent's best players. And then physically, we're going to max out our speed, max out our acceleration, keep our strength at a 65, get our vertical to a 65 for those big man contact dunks, and then put the rest on stamina at an 86. So given this build a once over, 17 finishing, 18 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 30 defensive badges. Like I said, there's some variations that you can tinker with in this build. You can make it more playmaking oriented. You can make it a better shooter. Uh, but you really want to get the 80 perimeter defense. Um, so make sure you're at a certain weight to get that 80 perimeter D to get this 3 and D wing name. So if you want to build your blueprint around that attribute, then uh, you definitely can make this whatever version you want. But it's very well rounded, can shoot, pass, finish, but defensively, I would not want to be matched up against this if I did run into this at the wreck. Going to takeover, you can get shooting, perimeter defense, interior defense, or glass take. I'm, I really like going enhanced jump shot contest personally in this game, and then let's go limitless range just because we want to double up on the strengths of this build. And you're going to get one of the rarest names in 2K23. This used to be a kind of more common build back in the day, but a 6'10", 3 and D wing. Like I said, James Posey, Trenton Hassel, Sean Marion, Scotty Pippen, Rashard Lewis, some of the absolute perfect complimentary pieces in NBA history. And correct me if I'm wrong, if I haven't really seen a bunch of six foot 10 3D wings out there in the city, let me know if this build is worth investing that harder in VC into. We're a few months into the year, trying to bring you all some rare builds that I just have not encountered at the city. This is a hot rare name, six foot ten, can kind of do it all. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, because you know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.